If you have a Chromebook that has a world facing camera, one favorite tool that I have is to use Microsoft Office Lens, the PDF scanner. What I like about it is it's kind of no nonsense and you can do this on the fly. You can take a quick picture of what students are doing and then annotate it live right in front of the students so that way they can view it. Right now I'm using Google Cast for education, so that's where it would really come in handy. And so I'm casting my screen up to uh, my display. And so that's what you're viewing right now. I'm gonna click on Microsoft Office Lens and open it up. I'm gonna show you how it's kind of no nonsense here. Um, I'm gonna allow it to access my media, setting it up for the first time use. It's gonna ask to be able to take pictures and record. And I can start scanning right away. Okay, this is originally designed for phones, but really we're using it on a Chromebook that runs the Android app. So right now it's actually kind of cool because it's actually accessing my world facing camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around so I can get right into business like so. And then what I'm able to do is I'm able to quickly take pictures of student work, do this off the cuff. Sorry if I'm making any of you sick, I'm not really trying to, but I'd be able to walk around the room and take a quick picture. If I wanted to do this whiteboard style so that way it's kind of washed out and very clear as to what I'm taking pictures of, I could, or I could do the document or a business card or photo. However I wanna take this, I'm gonna take the picture by pressing on the red button right in the center and it's gonna zoom directly in on that student work. So this is pretty powerful because right away off the bat, I have the ability to rotate the picture or I can then crop it or I can lighten it and darken it if I need to by changing it from whiteboard to document to business card. And then I also have the ability to add in my own text. And so the students would be able to do this too. I could hand them my device and have them be able to type directly on this document or scene that's taking place. So I can type and then place the text directly on it. I'm not sure why I duplicated my text there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter, put my keyboard away, and then I'm able to drag that around on that document like so, which is really a cool option, depending on what the document is or what the activity is. So I could potentially take a picture of a live scenario and label it right there. The other thing I can do is I can annotate directly over the top of this. So on the top right there, there are some pen tools and I'm able to mark directly on this. There aren't a lot of options as far as pen size. There's just a few colors, but this does give me a quick way that I could potentially take a picture live directly in the midst of a session, an easy way that I can integrate that world facing camera that exists on my device. I'm gonna also select the camera icon again. Let's say this is a second piece of student work and I'll take another picture of it, hover over the top of it, take the picture, it's gonna do it again. It's gonna zoom right in on that student work so I don't have to worry about cropping it because it automatically takes care of it for me. I'm able to annotate over the top of it again, like so. I'm able to label as I wish. You'll notice that whatever pen color I choose is also the typing color that I get to choose. I'm able to move that label around wherever I want on the screen. And then what's also kind of fun about the whole process is down here on the bottom right. Then what I'm able to do is I'm able to save this document. And if I select the one there that says PDF phone storage, I'm just gonna use that one. Then what it'll do is it'll save it directly in my files. So now if I wanna find that document, what I would do is I would leave the Office Lens app from Microsoft and I would go to my files app that's built into my Chromebook, go to my downloads folder, and there's my PDF file right there. I'll open that up and then I would be able to save this in Google Drive or distribute it to my students via Google Classroom. And both of those were pieced together in this one experience as I used the button on the bottom left corner that allowed me to take multiple pictures and add those in. This is a fun way to integrate that world facing camera and a fine tip stylus all on the fly, spur of the moment, which allows you to give students a voice and share with the class.